Vitopep presents the Spaceship Zero Adventure Hour. Chapter 2, Into the Beyond. In our last episode, Chief Engineer Stu Spanner came to a mysterious end while working alone aboard Spaceship Zero. Now, Space Corp. Executive Heidi Mensa enters the Orbital Science Station's briefing room to address the crew. Absolutely not. Rather, Can I have your attention, please? As you may have heard, ship's engineer Stu Spanner was killed in an industrial accident involving the O2 scrubbers. Every drop of blood in his body entered the filtration system, was aerosolized and circulated throughout the ship's life support systems, painting the ship's interior. It was, of course, quite tragic and horrible. Oh, my. I see. Thank- thankfully, the collateral damage caused by the engineer's pulpy remains have not caused the project to exceed projected costs. The onboard robot is scrubbing down the ship as we speak. The mission will proceed on schedule. With the removal of engineer spanner from the crew, the Space Corp Board of Directors has decided to promote Gearbox to the position of ship's engineer. Gearbox? Ship's engineer? You can't be serious. This is an outrage. You can't in all earnestness expect me to entrust my life's work to someone of Gearbox's limited caliber. Professor Ashton, while it is undeniable that Gearbox is less educated, less qualified, and less amicable than Spanner... Great jumping space catfish. I'm standing right here. Due to limited capital, time, and the regrettable labor laws, bringing Gearbox on board was the only legal option, so why don't we all give Gearbox a round of applause and welcome him aboard? Well, if that's all... Then the men are dismissed. Not so fast, Captain Stackhaus. Due to the rapidly increasing investment that Space Corp is making in this mission, the board has also decided it's prudent that the mission undergo an ongoing onboard cost-benefit analysis. Hey, lady, why don't you try that in English? What that means, Gearbox, is that I will be joining the mission to ensure the crew's actions remain fiscally responsible. What? I beg your pardon? You don't know anything about flying a star hopper. Or the difference between a five and three quarter inch gauge reciprocating spanner and a Phillips laser torque router. Or how to compute the radius of a quasi-dimensional magnetic emissions from a blue pulsar. That is true. I may not know how much xenon the thrusters use per second or, or what a five and three quarter gag reciprocity spaniel is, but I know where are the requisition forms for them and nobody fills things out in triplicate better than I. I'm going. Dismissed. Attention, all Space Corp cadets. Exploring the galaxy is hard work. Isn't it time for a Vitopep break? Vitopep gets you going at the start of every day or when you're just feeling run down at the end of the week. Vitopep is scientifically formulated to give you that rocket boost into orbit. Filled with more sugars, nutrients, and chemical molecules, Vitopep comes in three fantastic flavors, chocolate, vanilla, and red. Kids, ask your mom to look for it at your favorite grocer. And moms, ask your local pharmacist about Vitopep Plus behind the counter for that little something extra. Blast off with Vitopep! High above Earth's orbit, space moorings are cleared as Spaceship Zero prepares to activate. The crew makes their final checks. Robot, ship status? All systems read normal, Cap, Cap, Captain, sir. Sensor antennas extended and receiving. I think there may be something wrong with my seat. I have confirmation from Ice Station Pluto that they are ready to receive us. We have a green light for the BTL activation. Oh, my. Is, is, th- is this a tooth? Was I sitting on a piece of engineer spanner? The Bendel field is hot. Xeno tubes are on standby, Skipper. The BTL is primed, ready to go. Good, strap in. Waiting for your signal, Professor. Uh, uh, um, uh, just a moment, please. I, I can't seem to get this damnable seatbelt. No, oh, for heaven's sakes. Let me help you with that, Professor. Ah, uh, thank you, my dear. Robot, prepare to initiate BTL activation sequence. Ready, sir, sir, sir. Activate! BTL drive at 40% power. 
BTL drive at 70% power. Should the ship be vibrating this much? Readings are with intolerance. BTL drive at 95% power. Warning. Warning. What's happening? Report. BTL drive at error percent power. What? Uh, what's happening? It's gonna blow! I, I can't see, I can't see! Great job on space camping! Will the crew survive Professor Ashton's miracle engine? Tune in to the next exciting episode of the Spaceship Zero Adventure Hour! Brought to you by Vitopep. <laughs>